Did, did you listen to Jeff, Jeff and, and Professor Hemo in the morning? morning? Here's what you missed. So this year, they've gone all the way to mm. my alma mater. Uh-huh. That's the university I went to. Gabart? Alma mater. Oh, it's called. Okay. It's called New York University. Or NYU. Right. So, so who could you have met? Oh yeah, they just gone and went and got John Warren. He's a professor there at NYU. He's been holding workshops all week. Oh, a fellow professor, right? Yes, oh, right. My <laughs> this is the professor. Right? All right. Yeah. And then. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know these guys very well. Kajitan Boy, yes, very famous actor. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, th- thespian, we call him Thespian. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jackie Imali, <sighs> both in the house talking about this workshop and what it means to them. Mm-hmm. First, uh, first of all, folks, welcome to Hot ninety six. All of you, welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. You too, Prof. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Happy to be here. Are we, are we away here? Do you always get up so early in the morning? Yes, we do. I you, didn't have no yes, idea. we do, man. Right. Every morning. Yeah. That's our punishment. I see. <laughs> Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. First, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I wish I had your voice because I, I feel like maybe they can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going on talking like this? I don't know. Yeah. Were we born with that voice? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that? He practices every morning. Yeah, my first words were mumbo mumbo. <laughs> she, she heard you. Yeah. She heard you. <laughs> so welcome to Kenya. First time, right? First time, yeah. yes. What do you think? I love it. I, and I'm off tomorrow to Abacelli. Oh, Ambocelli. Oh, yes. Am I pronouncing it? Ambo. 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 That's what we call it for short, Ambo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ambo. Ambo. That's what I'm trying to sell you. Yeah. you know, Ambo. <laughs> You're going to love it, by the way. Am I? Lots of elephants. Oh. Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, ah. it's going to be. You're going to write a script right there. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to buy it? How's it going to work? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So some of you. I'm glad Jeff has pulled his wallet out so early in the morning. Do you take Ampesa in New York? <laughs> <laughs> that don't global, you know. Global. Yeah. That's right. We are there. Yeah. So Maybe. some of your movies include the movies that you've written for or yeah. script write for? Yeah. Um, Early on, I wrote a film called Naked in New York. <clears throat> excuse me, um, that Martin Scorsese produced, which was a lot of fun. It was a small film, independent film, um, and that kind of got catapulted me. And I started working in Hollywood. I lived in Hollywood for almost 25 years. Worked as a screenwriter there. Did a little directing. Then later on, Warner Brothers approached me to write a movie. That they did a series, which you may or may not know of, called Major League, Major and it's a baseball series. Mm-hmm. And they approached me to write one of those scripts, and I wrote it. Um, and it went well enough that they said, well, go ahead, you can direct it. So I wrote and directed Major League Back to the Minors. Had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah. Um, and in Hollywood, as a screenwriter, People may, I don't know, maybe people don't know this. Um, you write a lot of scripts that get, that hopefully get bought. They don't, don't all get made. Now the good news is you get paid. Okay. Uh, even if it's not made. Even if it's not made. Right. So that's what you do. You're so, in the business of, of right. writing scripts. Yeah. And, yeah. and let me ask you a dumb question here, John. Mm-hmm. If they buy it and don't make it, mm-hmm. what they do just put in a store somewhere they said maybe one day we'll make this movie they've got a big closet <laughs> full of <laughs> and they've got a lot of my scripts in that <laughs> full of ideas so one can okay. make a living writing as long as they are bored this is this is a bit of an anomaly that that in hollywood um there are there are screenwriters in hollywood who make a very handsome living and have never had a movie made so you get it. The average would be somewhere in the ballpark. If you if you sell thirty scripts, six will get made. One in every five. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you know it's difficult early on. You know when, when you first start in the business, you think you know, there's a script and it's. Yeah. So fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, people, yeah. do they know how wonderful I am? Why are they do making they, this? Do movie? they know how brilliant I am? Yeah. And you think, well, they're going to make it. Yeah. And there's a lot of they, a lot of dancing around you. You know, they tell you how much they love you, mm-hmm. and then they say, oh, but we're not going to make it. 
and early on it becomes it's heartbreaking yeah. you know uh, and then you get like anything you get a little uh, immune to it or a little uh, your, your skin gets mm -hmm. a little thicker and you think okay well the check cleared and so that's the good news and uh, you know I can buy as you were saying earlier, I can buy Pampers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was 36 bucks for 6.30 or something. There you go, there you go. I'm just trying to get 40, all the commercials. 40 40. <laughs> I'm trying to work for everybody here. Okay. Yeah, you're right. By the way, I'm going to be expecting yeah. a check from the grocery yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, so that, that's the way it works. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and how did you end up here through the uh, Films Without Borders and San Diego Foundation? How did they... Jill, Jill got in touch. Jill came, I believe, to New York and met one of my colleagues there. And um, I've been really fortunate. I kind of let the word get out that I enjoy traveling, enjoy going to new places, different places, seeing different cultures. Um, and I started doing that. And so I've been, I taught in Shanghai. I've taught in Italy a few times. Um, I've taught in Australia. This is my first time to Kenya. Um, so when Joe got in touch with me, I said, "Yeah, let's give this a try." Mm -hmm. And it's been a, it's been a great experience. Okay, so you had a week for long, two weeks, two weeks of workshops. What was your impression coming in? What do you think of this film industry? Is, is it budding? Is it nascent? Is it at an early stage? Well, are we, in, are we wasting time? I mean, you and I right now. <laughs> <laughs> you you tell question. me. Man. <laughs> yeah, you're the boss. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. Uh, well, you know, you never know. And and one of my jobs, one of the curious things about doing this and going to Australia or Shanghai or wherever, is that you, you walk into the classroom, and typically there are 12, 14, 15 students, and in the first hour, you think, oh, okay, what have I got? Yeah. And you've got the syllabus in your head, and you're thinking, now do I have to turn it down a notch or up a notch? What, what do I do? Um, in this case, I was pleasantly surprised. The, um, the students are very engaged. They're very enthusiastic. They knew much more than I thought they, than I anticipated they would, because, for instance, I've been in other countries where you say, you know, protagonist, and they don't know what that is. And mm -hmm. in case anyone here doesn't, that's the hero of the film. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I also, as well you, as selling Pampers, I'm also yeah. doing a little yeah, education. Here. No, yeah. we, are, we, we understand each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We understand He's writing a screenplay right now. Yeah. 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 So, um, so it was, it, you know, uh, so I could, I could really dial it up and push the syllabus. Um, and I believe by the second day, yeah. These students were uh, pitching their ideas for a short movie. Wow! So Jack they really jump in. Yeah, okay. Jackie and Molly, how did you hear about this? Um, uh, we got in, we got uh, it came in. The news came in last year from the Kenya Scriptwriters Guild, where Kajitan was the chair, and we were asked to apply. So after applying, we had an interview with uh, Jill Summers of Films Without Borders, and uh, that is when. Uh, a couple of us got selected to be, to be participants. <coughs> Sorry, to be participants in the workshop. Was it your yeah. first type type workshop like this? I've had a couple yeah. of others. Okay, how was uh, this one? It's interesting be careful, because Jackie. <laughs> 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 the professors in the house. Yeah. Don't worry, I won't let you know. <laughs> it still has the transcripts. Yeah. So uh -huh. yeah, um, it's interesting because it's. Um, we are going into analyzing scripts, mm. what's not working, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's one, and, and being open with each other, and I think that's one, one area that most of us fear. Yeah. When someone <sighs> tells you a comment and you're like, it's just, he probably hates my life. <laughs> yeah. it, it's called the fear of rejection. Yes. Kajitan boy, mm -hmm. you've written many scripts, you've acted in many movies. Mm -hmm. What was your biggest takeaway from this? What did you learn most here? Uh, what I learned most is that um, to be a script writer also means you need to understand and engage with people. Uh, Professor John Warren here uh, engages us very much. He kind of like uh, understood 
it's sad to say, but kind of understood what each of us needs to improve their craft. Ah. And uh, it feels very personalized. There in a classroom, it feels very personalized. Yeah. And for me, that is really a big, a big thing to take away, where your script doesn't feel like it's being interfered with, mm. but you're being made to improve your script. Jack, you talk about discouragement. At the end of the two weeks, where have you been encouraged now? Do you feel better about writing, about you know, submitting scripts? Oh, a lot, because uh, it's not just my script. I mean, right now I can I can sit with someone and tell them this is where your your problem is and this is how you need to fix it. So yeah, I feel so confident about that also. Yeah. John Warren, so you yeah. say you were pleasantly surprised. Uh, why, other than protagonist? <laughs> <laughs> A couple of things. Um, you know, one of the most terrifying things for a professor is that uh, you're you're rambling on, you're talking, maybe you, maybe you even call it a lecture, mm -hmm. but you're really just running off at the mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's a moment when you stop and you say, what do you think? Or do you have a question? And in some classes, the entire room just sits on their hands and stare at you as if they didn't understand a word you'd say. Yeah. It's terrifying because then you're on your own again. Yeah. This class, they really participate. The, I mean, they they interact. They ask questions. They give thoughts. They have comments. They have critiques. Um, I would say more so than any class I've ever taught. The the engagement in the room, mm -hmm. among the students, with um, the flow of ideas and thoughts and creativity, has been has been astounding. Yeah. yeah, they're really engaged. Kajita, let's face it, our movies haven't gone very far. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Kenyan movies, I mean, they haven't gone very far. What's the problem? Well, it's a combination of things. Uh, one of the issues is actually the scripting. We've really improved technically, we've got good picture, we've got good sound, we've got okay. good editing, we've got really good acting. But the story has been kind of neglected, mm -hmm. and that people don't watch movies for pictures, they watch them for the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that has been one of the big problems, uh, the story. Yeah. Uh, another issue is uh, the government support. Uh -huh. uh, it is unrealistic to imagine that an individual can come out and make a blockbuster movie from their own finding. There's very little support that is offered. A lot of lip service, but nothing really tangible that happens on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. True that. And Jackie, everybody wants to be Lupita or yeah. Eddie Gadeggi mm -hmm. or Good Night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is not going to happen. Well, if they believe in themselves. No, no, no. no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> overnight. Overnight. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Not overnight. Of course, not overnight. It in involves practice. Mm -hmm. It involves uh, listening more of listening and, and observing and trying actually let me just put it it involves practice 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 mm. yes and don't be afraid to make mistakes mm. yes. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. right true. yes um victor kenoti on twitter says mm -hmm. welcome to kenya professor john warren hi victor akuna mm. matata he <laughs> says i have watched major league and it is good work thank you yeah. Thank you, Victor, and I'll be sending him a check. I paid it in the movie. No money. <laughs> Capitalism is alive and well in I'm telling you. New York City. New York. NYC. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Professor, <laughs> what is your biggest takeaway from this? Well, uh, Kashani hit something, hit it right on the head. Um, it's all story. It's all story. So, um, as you were saying, you know, you can shoot a great picture, frame a beautiful shot, wardrobe can be fantastic. <clears throat> the audience cares about story, and what they follow is story. And my students at, in, at NYU, students every, everywhere I, I've taught, that is the hardest thing. So it's easy, or it's somewhat easy to, to to frame a shot or to do put together a great wardrobe, but the story is the work. And um, my uh, students all over the world that I've taught, they all want a camera. You walk in, they go, yes. "Hey, I, I'm ready to start shooting my movie yeah. now." And I say, "Well, do you have a story?" No, "Don't don't worry about that, Mr. Warren. <laughs> I, I'm ready to shoot." And I, "Yeah, but yeah, but do you have a story?" <laughs> "Well, no, I, I, you know, uh, I, 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 I'll figure it out." "Well, you won't." Yeah. So, Kajan's right. You you. You frame a story, you build a story, and it and and it's a lot of work. 
Um, that's the sweat part, as Jackie was saying. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. So that's it's it's all story. Jackie Kajitan, a lot of people complain that we are not telling our story. Mm -hmm. A lot of people complain. Why aren't we telling our story? We're busy telling other people's stories or aping other stories, and we're not telling our own. And we have such a rich heritage. Why aren't we telling our story? Uh, well, again, it's, it's back to, I'd say it's the craft, it's the craft. We have really good stories, but how do we craft them? Uh, so that people can engage with the stories and move with them. And when you don't know how to craft the story, it looks like you just cut and paste something from a Western scenario. Mm -hmm. But if you understand the craft, you understand the characters, you understand the motivation, mm -hmm. it's not an African or an European story, it's a human story. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the day, if you understand what motivates your characters, what makes the people tick, what makes them connect, then it ceases to be an African-European story. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's a craft. People underestimate the craft that you need to put into scripting. Uh -huh. yeah. Jackie? Okay, for me, I think um, one of the things is um, the connecting. And uh, also, so many people are in a hurry, just as Professor is saying, mm -hmm. uh, you don't care about story. You don't, want, you don't want to invest in story. You just want to invest in the technical. And then you, when when you want to approach me to have a, uh, to write your story, you tell me uh, it's easy. Just put it down like this, like this. I also need to invest in that story. Take time, and you also need to invest in it. As much as you are going to look for money, and make a movie, also look, take your time to invest in a story. Don't rush me like you want a story in a day, mm -hmm. and you are preparing to shoot in 14 days. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Just give me time to write that story connect to it and the audience as soon as I write it and I like it and probably there is a higher chance that the audience are going to connect to the story mm -hmm. immediately mm -hmm. so just give me time as a script writer to also invest let me invest in that time let you also invest in that time yeah. so yes. don't push me mm -hmm. Kajitan when you're lying at night at home doing whatever you do and you're thinking you know there's this movie I want to there's this story I want to tell there's this script I want to write what is that story well, the story is about the genesis of the name Boy, Kajetan Boy, oh. because there's a whole, there's a whole probably, probably a series yeah. <laughs> in that. Uh, Major League, <laughs> 24. There you go. Because <laughs> I'm always being asked, is that your real name? Yes. Yeah. And, and, I, and I tell people, this is my real name. There's a whole clan of people <laughs> called Boy. Boy. What? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't understand. Why, why do they call you Boy? Yeah. You, you, you'll watch the movie. Yeah. Right? Uh, the series. I'll, I'll make the series, then I'll let you know. But that is the movie I want to make. Because I, I think <clears throat> names are not taken, are not given or taken lightly. Yeah. yeah and uh, yeah, so that is the movie. Yeah. I, I would just advise you don't go to the southern part of the United States. If, they, if they keep calling you Boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Negative comments. <laughs> the, the, thing is, the, the thing is, you've got to learn how to capitalize the B. Uh, uh, even, even, even calling me uh, boy, yeah. and, and, and most of you don't capitalize. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, yes. what is that film? What is that movie? What is that script you want to write? Uh, I'm doing a sports film. I hope to produce it by mid next year. Give us a little tease. <laughs> okay, so it, it's basically the life of the heroes. Uh, we are celebrated um, athletes. We don't know the lives that they go through before they become those heroes. Like we, all we see is, oh, they got a gold, mm -hmm. bronze, mm -hmm. silver. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much they've put in uh, and how much they had to go through mm -hmm. so that they became who they became. Yeah. So I am doing both sides of the lives, the, the athletic life and the life at home, the life with friends. Yes. And all the pressures that they go through, yeah. including doping, which oh. is an issue oh, we don't yeah. want to yes. talk Absolutely. about. Nobody wants to talk about it. Yes. So, wow. Yeah. That is very good. Mm. It's a great now you idea. Idea. Yeah. yeah, Professor Warren, that's that's a good story. Yeah, I'm not going to steal it, but it is a good story. Jeff was looking at me like, yeah. what, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great story, yeah. and I've done sports stories, as you know. Mm. Um, there's always a, there's be so so practical about this there's always a market for sports stories um, and it's personalizing the story and the journey so yeah, I think Jackie's on to something uh, what what does it take to become the greatest runner in Kenya it's not just a matter of putting on your shoes and putting one foot in front of the other it's what went on with the training what went on the sacrifice the protagonist sacrifice mm -hmm. 
um, which I talk a lot about in class. Um, that's now okay. I'm going to do something. I'm, this is really dangerous. What I'm about to do. Go okay. Go okay. We're ready. Don't, do don't, it. We're ready. Don't shoot do me down. No, do it. Kipoche. Kipchoge. Kipchoge. Yeah. That was Daniel You know that. No. 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 Are we still on the air? We are. Okay. Now. Now. Say it again. Say it again. Again. There's two of them now. There's Kipchoge Keino. The, the superstar from way back, oh my God. Mm -hmm. and then there's Eliud Kipchoge, who yeah. wants to break the two-hour mark yes. in the marathon. Yeah. <sighs> Have you seen and it? The two, yeah. Oh, I saw the Nike movie. Yeah. Oh, so he's. Did you write that? No, I wish oh. I had. I wish I had. But that's a that's a great. Yeah. What? So you want to know when you see him running? You want to know what what's what's the story? What did he do to get there? I have to tell you, there's a there's a in in New York City in Central Park. Sometimes I run in the morning, and uh, you may remember this is a bridle path, mm -hmm. which is kind of a, mm -hmm. it's, it's where the, sometimes you can ride horses. Yes. And every once in a while you'll see like a group of six runners go by like a shot. It's a blur, and it's the Kenyan runners. <laughs> and he's there. And he's so and people will go, oh, those are the Kenyans, yeah. <laughs> and, and then they're gone. Yeah. So, you know, you, oh, where were they? Oh, you missed them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. but I mean, yeah. that's that's oh, a great oh, story. So whoever that, um, so Jackie, we're, you know, now I'm co-writing. Yes. <laughs> but whoever that that yeah. young boy is who yeah. sees those runners yeah. today, yeah. and he's maybe eight years old, and living in their difficult circumstances. What will he do to make that journey? And that's a that's an incredible story. You know, I'm glad you said that, Professor, because mm -hmm. stories that relate to people mm -hmm. or you know where you come from, those are the ones that will motivate. You wrote scripts for baseball movies, which you know, baseball is the American pastime. Yeah. You, you know, according to you, you folks. I remember a movie called Field of Dreams. Yes. Kevin Costner, James Earl Jones. Yeah. Movie about baseball and also mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. But Americans to this day will quote that movie. It's about 30 years old or so. Yeah. They still quote, "If you build it, they will come." Gotcha, Tony. Gotcha, knows that. <laughs> did you know? Did you? Um, Go did on. you know that um, Phil Alden Robinson, a friend of mine, directed that film? Oh. And so they, you know, they shot it out in I want to say Nebraska. Okay. And they built that field. Yeah. If you're familiar the corn with the field. Movie, yeah. Yeah. in a cornfield. So yeah. they built that. And did you know it's still there? Well, no. The field is still there, and and it's a tourism site. <laughs> so people from all in Amer all over America come to that just to see that field. And, sure. they, and they left it there as opposed to. Planting corn again and yes. turning it back yes. into a farm, they've left the field still there. If you build it, they yeah. will come. <laughs> Jackie, are you listening? Yes. If you that build. film about athletes? Yes. And this Elliot Kipchoge story, I'm, I will watch it over and over again. Connect I keep him, watching it. Connect him to, to Elliot. Elliot's people. Go collect a uh, connector, then write the story oh, about Elliot. That Elliot we will is, relate Elliot to is a story. for generations. Yes. For generations. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Was it tough though, those two weeks? Were they difficult? I had fun. Professor's here. You said that was some hesitation. Did you hear that? It was like, I had fun. Well, it's not easy having your script butchered. Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah, it's called surgery. Yes, yes that's surgery. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> you, you love these characters and you're writing a story, you get attached to them, and then someone just tells you, it's not your professor, it's everyone. <laughs> and you're told, like, uh, <laughs> kill this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is <laughs> unnecessary. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> Where, is this? Where is this story going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have it. Oh. Said, what about you? Were, you? were your scripts massacred? <laughs> uh, yes, because you're, like you're getting feedback from all the participants. Yeah. Yeah, these are 15 people. Mm. And a lot of it is really good feedback. Yes. And, and they're like, what do I take? What do I leave? Yeah. Uh, do, do I throw out my ideas and I accept everybody's ideas? Yeah. So that it's, it's really interesting and, and challenging. And, and, and knowing what to sift and what to really, and, and also to believe in your idea. Oh, yeah. and, and, and stick with, the, with your core idea and move with it. Yeah. Uh, 
Fantastic. Some it's some shock absorbers. You <laughs> <laughs> need that. You have to be able to take it. Yeah. Um, so this, the Sandy Vor Foundation. You guys, is it gonna? Is it an annual thing? Is this? Uh, does this happen every year, or is this a one-off? Or in films without borders? Well, we are hoping that film without borders will make it uh, um, a recurrent thing. Yeah. Uh, this has been the first time we are doing it. It's been fantastic, mm -hmm. and every, we are all looking forward and hoping that it can grow. It can be more often and even bigger because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who need to get this kind of skill because we don't have formal writing yeah. schools that teach writing, yeah. soft writing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really important for the writer when we have such uh, workshops happening. Professor John Warren, if someone's listening to you for the first time right now and they think that they can write, yeah. Yeah. they can come from that journey. By the way, that's a good <laughs> first step yeah. to think you can. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. What do you tell them? What advice do you give them? Because you know, there's so much talent out there, yeah. but it just hasn't been honed, hasn't been fine-tuned. Yeah, uh, what I tell them is to study story. And by that I mean, you have a favorite film. Um, what, when you step back from it with some objectivity and say, okay, now what is it about this film that, that captured me? It's, it's what you said a moment ago, I'll follow that journey. But, but knowing what the journey is, how to create that journey, a lot of what we've done in, in these two weeks is the analytical aspect of it, saying, okay, Kajitam, what is your story and who are we following? And does he or she have, a, have an objective? So there are some basic, and it's what I've tried to do while I've been here, there's some basic story, elements of story, I call them. And, and every story has them. Every, we, we talked about it at the beginning. Every story has a protagonist. Every, and every protagonist must have an objective. And that's where it, it, it starts. The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy wants to go home. She wants to go home. Everybody gets that. And now it's the writer's job to make that, that journey home difficult so that we'll watch it. So that's where the drama is. So the basics of story, I mean, these guys are great at it. I, again, this class has been amazing at, because I don't think everybody walked in with as much background and information and history as these two. But um, even those that didn't, they, they really quickly got onto the idea, okay, you've got to analyze a story and ask the right questions of a story to, to build it. Yeah, Jackie, can I just add, um, in journalism school, they taught us to keep it simple. Always the KISS syndrome, keep mm -hmm. it simple and stupid. Mm -hmm. There's a movie a few years ago called Slumdog Millionaire. The simplest of movies about, you know, who wants to, it's like, you know, it was a takeoff of who wants to be a millionaire uh -huh. but in Mumbai. Uh, and then yeah. they based the story around this kid yeah. and they put India on the map again. Yeah. I mean, it, it, put the country on the map. What's that movie that's going to put us on the map? Tell us now, what's the one? Because, you know, we need to be, not just our wildebeest and our beaches, no. we want a story. I think it's, I think it's that sports movie. Yeah. I don't know if it's yes. Jackie's movie, yeah. but it's yes. that sports movie yeah. because uh, everybody around the world knows Kenyans That's running. That's our biggest bars. export. Yeah. Our biggest <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so. yeah. Coffee, tea and <laughs> athletics. And, and, and we've got it all. The tra we've got the champions, we've yeah. got the training camps, yes. we've got the scenery. Uh, so really, it, it, I think it just needs uh, I'm trying to go here again, but it needs government will to put in a lot of money yeah. into a production that is going to showcase the country and the talent that exists. Yeah. And, and obviously, that's not happening as fast as it should, right? right the right. government really needs to kick in because this is a money maker here. Mm -hmm. It's a no brainer. Jackie? Um, we have a lot of stories. We have a lot of untold stories from back in, our, in the day of history. Yeah. Uh, entire history of how we got independence and all that, it's a story. Even the fight for independence. Yes. Yes. The Mau Mau. We have the Mau Mau. Oh, we have Wangaratadai story. There you yes. go. We have young innovators who are doing stuff. Yeah. Every single day of our lives is a story that's passing. Yeah. Even M-Pesa is a story. It right? is a story, yes. right? yes. Remember the fight before M-Pesa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, we, we left. We left. We left Obama's story to be written by other people. He is ours. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you understand. Ah, that's, that's a great story. That's a great story. 
Amazing mm -hmm. story. And Jeff, when, when, when can we adapt your book into a movie? Uh -huh. yeah. 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 This is another movie. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm talking to uh, oh. Denzel right now. <laughs> <laughs> One other beautiful <laughs> thing is um, where we are running the workshops, where yes. we are holding the workshops. We have absolutely amazing people who are supporting us. We have uh, the Sarova Panafric who wow. even volunteered uh, to give us space for if we are to set up a club mm. and have people come in and we look at their scripts. Mm. So you see, this is an opportunity for all these stories that are in your closet yes. <laughs> <laughs> to come out. out. And I hope by, by the time you're coming to, to link up with us, you'll have the you, you'll be more passionate to listen to both the good and the bad oh. because that is what uh, Professor has taught us mm. and, and then take what works for you for the story. You don't have to take it all, you mm. just have to take what works for you for the story because it's for the good of telling that good story yeah. and letting, letting it be memorable to so many other people. So as you think about your audience. Good yes, I wasn't to mention that and for even aspiring, any aspiring writers, yeah. There actually exists a Kenya Script Writers Guild. Mm -hmm. uh, how do they get in touch? Uh, yes, uh, how to get in touch, yeah. they can drop an email. Yes, yeah. at info at kenyascriptwritersguild.com. Info at kenyascriptwriters.org. Guild. Oh, Kenya, oh. Kenya Script Writers Guild. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah, it's good. a place where you can find fellowship, you can, yeah. you can, you can interact with other writers. Yeah. And when opportunities like uh, these come along, yes. and we have a Professor John Warren here, yes. uh, mm. also you get to be informed in good time. All right, Kajitan, what are you working on right now? Right now, I'm actually helping Jackie complete uh, the, the sports, sports movie. movie. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's it's exciting. Exciting. Oh, yeah. so it's co writers, and then yeah. the professor will be co, -co writer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way down the list. <laughs> <laughs> what we, he'll be what we call the script doctor. There you uh, go. Yes, yeah. yeah. And he can yeah. massacre it all. <laughs> yes. And uh, when can we expect that, guys? Um, no, no, no rush. But you know, when can yeah. we look forward to that? We are looking at mid next year. We are uh, in the process of raising funds mm. already, and uh, we've gotten a couple of people who are interested. So we are hoping the deal comes through. Yes. See, the challenge of being an independent filmmaker, you have to raise right. Yeah. Yeah. Raise funds, produce, bring other people on board, yeah. and convince them. And convince them, <laughs> yeah. For that movie, <laughs> <laughs> we've already started. Oh, amazing! Yes, yes. 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 we started. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got an investor. Yes. 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 And by the way, yes. Yes. do we have another investor? In that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're not blocking anyone out. And by, and so those who can't see, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, please. Uh, don't sit on that wall. He's being a little this, shy about his wallet. This, yeah. <laughs> this is what you call crowdfunding. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Professor John Warren, you get the last word. Oh, okay. Um, yes, the hotel has been wonderful. They fed us. They've taken care of us. The, the group here has been great. Um, I have have suggested to to this class that they stay, and this goes back to the guild. Mm -hmm. um, Having uh, writing's a lonely sport. It's a very lonely sport because you're in a room by yourself, looking at that blank page and thinking, "How do I put words on it? What are the words?" And to have a network, and I think you have that with the guild, uh, having a network of support that you can talk to and say, "Hey, I've thought about this. What do you think?" And to have somebody to kick those ideas around with to get some input, it makes it less lonely, and it also helps the the story evolve and become a a, a, a richer deeper movie so i i in sir, i encourage them working together having this group of people um who you can bounce your ideas off of bottom line a lot of talent here lot by the way a lot of talent here and great stories to be told here Fantastic. Mm. This is John mm. Warren from NYU, mm -hmm. my alma mater. Oh, yeah. Are you coming back next year with Sandy Boyle? I, so. I, I hope they'll bring me back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they'll bring, me, hope they bring, was, the, hope they bring the butcher back. <laughs> <laughs> the butcher of New York. <laughs> so, Jackie Imali, mm -hmm. Kajisan Boy, 
guys, thanks so much. Oh, thank and you. good luck and oh. good thank you to the Sandy Vora Foundation, guys. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. And the Films About Borders. Yeah. Keep writing, guys. Keep writing. That's what they say. Yes. And you're only as good as your last script. Imagine. Right, bro? <laughs> right. They told me that once. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. And it's stuck. <laughs> 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 it's a syndrome. Yes. Just before we go. Yes. Hey, cut, cut your camera. Come yes. Are you recording this? Yes. Give me part of that. It's just for the most real We are not live. We are not live. Yeah, it's just for camera. This is, yeah, this, yeah. this is what we call. Jeff Koinange and Professor Hamo every day, Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. only on Hot 96.